Chicago man killed after his baby mother calls out his ops and drops his location. King AK-47, Voice of the Streets. Everybody make sure they hit that like button. Everybody make sure they subscribe to the channel. Now, before we get into this, I want y'all to see this right here. So as you guys can see, the woman even carrying his last name on Facebook. She get it to her with her baby father. She decides to post him on Facebook. Public page, by the way. And call out his ops. Basically saying, why y'all ain't killed this man yet? Mind y'all, they share children together. Not only that, she discloses that he may have snitched on a lot of people. Um, don't know if it's true, but a couple people were saying it was a shooting that happened, and uh, he basically, you know, lost some friends, partners. He was a part of it, and he told and identified who did it. Now, I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying what people are saying. And then she pr proceeds to post, he's not at this address. I repeat, he's not at this address. Basically saying, he over here, y'all. He over here. If y'all really big about it, go kill him. Right after she posted that, they pulled up and killed him. Now the woman has deleted her social media, her Facebook. A couple people found her. You see what I'm saying? And they was talking to her. And she just can't handle the pressure behind what she started. Um, her kid's father's blood is on her hands. And she single-handedly got the man killed. Let's get into what I want to say. You women got to get called out too, man. Because all we hear is about men this, men that, men this, men that. But there's no one that really holds y'all accountable, man. All the men in y'all family just sit back and act like y'all just be perfect. All y'all friends, everything, man. No one is there to call y'all out. Listen, man, if a man ain't the, a good enough father that you feel, you will rip his parenthood, his fatherhood. If a man ain't the type of man that you feel, you will destroy his manhood. It's men out here who won't touch y'all. Yeah, they might mess with a little chick here and there, but that's not physical. But y'all will break shit, do dumb shit like this, cut up a man's jacket hood, coat hood, destructive all because y'all fell away. Ladies, y'all got to stop letting y'all emotions get the best of y'all, man. Y'all make irresponsible, irrational decisions just because you're angry, bruh. And then we talk about men, this, men, that. Well, you know where we get it from? A lot of these men that's sitting locked up, all they had was a mama to watch. That's it. Auntie, sisters. So they picked up and adapted emotional decisions, bro. They didn't have a real man to see how it was to lock in your, your emotions. So it's a lot of men that's making split-second decisions, and it's costing them their life. Niggas going to the grave, and niggas going to jail. And 95% of those men that go to jail, after they make that emotional decision, and reality hits them, they regret it. Now back to y'all. This woman sitting here looking stupid because not only is her kid's father gone, the person that she really loved still is gone as well. She wouldn't have had the man last name in her Facebook, man. But no, women love to make the most irrational decisions and then got to live with what they do Afterward, y'all got to force yourself to live a certain way, man. Y'all be ready to break up and leave these dudes heart and mind, but don't understand soul ties in God way more than that. Man, if it ain't ready, it ain't ready. And this is why we have situations like this, because I can guarantee you this was either about a girl 
nothing about being a father or about her not getting the way, what she wanted, how she wanted, using the kids as leverage. You know something about the nigga. So what you going to do when y'all get into it? You air out all this dirty laundry. You expose everything he got go on and you even lie on the man. Yeah, y'all do this. So before we keep getting on men, I want y'all to understand, man. This woman just got her, this man killed, bro. For what? For what? On top of that, she's probably going to get in trouble. So mommy go bye-bye. Kids with no father or no mother. Because of a decision that she wanted to make, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. A lot of you females got to realize y'all shit stank too, man. Y'all are not perfect how y'all feel. Y'all do not hold accountability for yourself. Y'all do not do nothing. And y'all run around here and go off with niggas tell y'all in the DMs and hoe ass niggas that don't want to tell y'all nothing. And act like you so perfect. Because this is what I see every day. I see this in all these celebrity couples. I see this walking down the street. I just see it, man. I, I look at females' Facebook, Instagram posts. YouTube channels. I hear what y'all speak on, and it just kills me because, once again, the man get the brunt end and the short end of the stick. But what the man continue to do? We continue to kill each other, go at each other, violate each other, shoot each other, stab each other, all this, and we at war with not only ourselves, not only the police, not only this whole country, but the goddamn ladies we, we lay up next to, man. All because y'all not emotionally smart enough, invested enough, or well enough to walk away from a situation and don't do a rash decision that next month you might feel stupid about. Fuck next month. The next hour, day, two days, you might feel totally different about. But guess what? The situation is done and it ain't no coming back from it, man. And this is why we partially have a lot of broken women and broken men as well because we all making decisions without thinking about later. We all making decisions based off right now. Everything fast, the money fast, the bitches fast, the niggas fast, everything. Our decisions we make is fast and we don't think about later on how you gonna be sitting there looking so stupid because of something you did when you shouldn't have did it in the first place. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, man. Rest in peace to the brother. I don't know what the hell gonna happen to the woman, but she going viral as hell right now, and it's sad as hell and disgusting that I just seen that because it's like, damn, not only did he have ops, you his biggest one.